categorical data analysis in all statistical methods and analysis we have two types or multiple types of data but most common two types are continuous data and categorical data and this lecture is how would you model categorical data especially when categorical data are the dependent variable that is the behavior you are studying or the phenomena that you are interested in is in fact captured using a categorical variable so here's my outline for today's lecture number one I will define the categorical data then I will begin with an introduction or a refresher of regression models. In that, I will show you examples. This is all applied. I will show you very little theory, because you can read theory in any book on econometrics, statistics. There are tons of books, libraries filled with books on categorical data analysis and regression models and whatnot. I will show you the applications so that you are able to run these models. And if there is any confusion, you can read up on the theory later. And the chapter that I have written for your book that uh, um, is available in your uh, uh, handout, um, that chapter gives you the entire theory behind categorical data analysis. Then uh, once I have given three examples of regression models, I will move into examples of categorical data and we will run these examples here. And I will use a software called R, uh, which is very similar to S plus, and um, I'll tell you my reasons later why I use R and not SPSS or any other. Okay, now any time you're dealing with choice, right? You're trying to understand why would someone prefer Ryerson University over University of Toronto or York University? Why would one prefer Tim Hortons coffee over Starbucks, right? Why Obama versus McCain? Right? Anytime there is a choice, you can model that choice. You can look at that data. That choice is either zero, one, right? Either or. Uh, would you like to do a graduate study? Would you like to go for university for master's or PhD or not? Right? Two options, zero, one. That is categorical data. Right? You could also have categorical data, but it has some order in it. For example, um, how many kids would a household have? Right? Zero, one, two, or more. Right? And where I come from, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or more. Right? So all these choices are uh, part of categorical data. Now, here, Categorical data would be a dependent variable. You are studying categorical outcomes as a function or as an outcome resulting from other influences. In most analysis that you have done as part of your undergraduate training, you have used categorical data as an explanatory variable. The most common categorical variable that we use in our analysis is gender. We code it as male or female. If it's male, one, zero, otherwise. If it's female, zero, or one or otherwise, right? It doesn't matter which one is zero, which one is one. That is an example of categorical variable. Right? And you have used it in the past in many, in many, you must have used it in many analysis where you just added gender as an explanatory variable. So What are these discrete outcomes in, in management, in finance? The examples are, uh, what, is the, what are the odds that this loan could be, the loan that you're extending could be a foreclosure, would result in a foreclosure versus a regular loan. That is the rate of default. You measure default risk, and sometimes you look, look at default as either or, zero, one. And in, uh, in quality control, you're trying to detect a lemon, right? You're working on a, on a, on a uh, say, um, at the end of a, of a uh, uh, manufacturing plant where the good is ready, where, let's say it's a car or it's a computer, um, and when the final product is being about to be shipped, you step in and you check the, the, the uh, product's uh, quality and you're trying to determine if it's if it meets the standard or not again if you develop a database from that data that would be a categorical data because you would say one pass zero otherwise and as I said there are ordered outcomes let's say we are taking a survey of job satisfaction and we ask people how satisfied you are and based on some scale people respond as oh my job satisfaction is low 
medium, or high. And then you know you can have um, sort of a longer or more wider scale on which you ask people about their their satisfaction. For example, you can ask, can Stephen Harper steer Canada out of this economic mess, right? And um, you can answer this question as very strongly disagree, strongly disagree, disagree, agree, strongly agree, very strongly agree, right? So you start, start from very strongly disagree into a more neutral category and then moving towards the other cat side where you say, I very strongly agree that he would be able to steer Canada out of an economic mass, right? So these are examples of categorical data. Now, 